Okay, hon. Hey. Okay, she's got her. Myra has her paints all mixed up here. She's got her one uh, container with the sizing in over here. And here's the one on the other side with just water to rinse the sizing off after the marble, after the paper is dipped into the paint. You see the thin layer of paint on the top. And you also notice it has a slightly green tint from the fact that it's made of, uh, it's made from uh, carrageenan. You notice how it spreads. The spreading on there is caused by the ox gall that's in the water. Hey. Oh, there's one that dripped right to the bottom. Yes, I know not, I know. If you try this and you find your drops are dripping all the way through, it's not staying on the surface, you probably have to add a little bit more oxygen to it. Now this is giving her little splatters all through there. You see the little droplets landing all over. It takes a surprisingly small amount of paint in order to put a very rich color on your paper. You do have to make sure that it floats though. So if it doesn't float, you're not going to get any kind of a color on your paper at all. The the oxygen that is used can be preserved by putting a little bit of alcohol. Actually, we mix it 50-50 alcohol if we're going to stir it, save it for long. Put it in the refrigerator. You put it in the refrigerator and mix it 50-50 and it lasts a long time. And this will actually almost look like a fish bone. That's the effect that this comb is going to have on the final print. Okay, now you're ready to put the paper on. Yes, and notice how she's putting it on so there's no air bubbles that get underneath it. If there's an air bubble, it will be a white spot. It's thoroughly covered now. And now to pick it up and rinse it in the water. And you can see though, you can see clear through it that the paint has stuck to it quite well. And there's the final paper. Now when it dries, the colors will of course be a little bit richer in there. And that's a marbled paper. Now all sorts of different designs can be made. You'll see that she'll mix around. Myra will take and mix the, the colors around and get patterns. But basically this is how a marble paper is made. Sometimes there's a thin line of black that's put on first and if you put a layer of black down what happens is it gets squeezed by all the other colors 
and almost looks like it's drawn like drawn lines between the colors. You see as they touch, you can see how the paint spreads and pushes the other colors out the way. That's pure oxball she's using in there in order to spread what will look like a white area. The comb is what's being used to make streaks. As you see, this will look like streaks through it. Again, please be careful not to get air bubbles under it. If there's an air bubble, that area will be white in color. That doesn't necessarily ruin a paper. We have had some that have air bubbles in, and it actually gives a, a neat area to put a design in, or a stamp in, or to write in. See the marks, you can tell the marks that are left in there by the comb. But this oxygen line is made of iron. Make white area. Yeah, the little white spots in there mm -hmm. are caused by the oxygen. Mm -hmm. That's when she's dipped purely in the oxygen to put it in. You can take it, if you really want to have an area to write in, or a clear spot, you can use the Oscar to clear a whole area in there to write or make notes and make a custom looking stationary paper. Okay, one more. For colors. Mm -hmm. Now uh, these papers are very light color. They're to be used, they're specifically made to be used for a background for cards. It can also be used for stationery. I have no ano, I can no ano any. I can't mix my ano.
you'll see from some of the samples that I'll have posted, these can be done in very brilliant colors or a very subdued pastel color. Light color. These are more stationary papers that we're making today. Very nice to use in uh, journals. They can be written on top of, have images put on top of, and they won't dominate the appearance of the A journal. Dome. A dome. Okay, huh? It actually looks like it did come out okay. It stuck okay. It's weird what it did with those two rips coming down through here. Mm -hmm. Well, you used to do that intentionally where you would put it in part way and then pull up and that's what happened there. It's raining out and that's really not helping the marbling any at all. That humidity makes a quite a difference. We have found that out from one day to the next. But the paint was already mixed up so we're in. And it goes for it here. Mix dark over dark color, honey, for that to get dark. So I have no dark or light color. <laughs> we done it. Look. How strange. How strange. We done. Here he is. 